I can't believe I'm saying this, but after almost one and a half years, Brian has finally updated to the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So to get it, you want to head over to their GitHub page. As you can see, I'm there right now. This is going to be linked right down in the description below. Anyways, here you want to simply find the top release or pre-release as you can see over here the higher it is up on the list the less bugs we will have you want to click on this assets thing over here and then click on brian.dll to download the dll file now while you are down there in the description below definitely make sure to also check out my discord server which is going to be linked there too as there is many more clients there just like this one also, as you can see, it is 11 a.m. on a Monday, which means I'm, t I'm definitely supposed to be doing other things. But if you guys appreciate the consistency, make sure to subscribe for that as well. Anyways, as you can see, I do have a Brian in my downloads. And because it is just a DLL file, we do still need an injector. To be able to inject this, I have Fate Injector over here. I'll link it in the description if you guys don't have it yet. Anyways, we can simply grab the DLL file here from our downloads, click on Inject, and as you can see, this is going to inject right into Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.21.130. Some reason the injecting took a few seconds, but we're in now. As you can see, I've got Brian over here, and I'll now just head into a random single player world and show you guys a little bit about using this. So if you do want an in-depth full usage tutorial, then I have actually already made that. I will link it right down in the description too. But for right now, I'll just show you how to get started with using Brian. Obviously, it is absolutely fantastic that we finally have an actual decent client on the latest version of Micro Bedrock Edition again. So you can press on the insert button on your keyboard to open and close this click GUI area. If you don't have an insert key or you want to rebind that, you can open up the chat, type in dot bind, click GUI, and then any key you want, for example, F for G. And now the key bind of click GUI is being set to G. So I can press on G to open and close the click GUI area. That is really the most important part of this client. For the rest in the GUI, you can click on all these utilities to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off, and then you can actually right click on these as well for some customization menus, which are quite cool. And for the rest, it is literally as easy to use as that. So you can actually also hover above all of these utilities and get a description of exactly what they do in the bottom left, which is incredibly useful. For the rest, some of the most used utilities are definitely the zoom right over here. Fantastic, just like the Optifine one. We obviously have stuff like Kill Aura, Hitbox, Reach, all the good things in the combat section. We also do have the free look as well as Fulbright and visuals. And some classics like Scaffold as well. Really, Brian has everything that you would need. Now, because the update is still quite recent, there is going to be some bugs. For example, if you try enabling X-Ray, it is not going to work. For some reason, for me, it causes an error to kick me out of the world. And the only way I can rejoin is if I restart Minecraft. So definitely do keep an eye on their GitHub page. Um, we were there in the beginning of the video. Just keep an eye on it. And if they release any new ones, um, any new versions, and definitely make sure to go ahead and download those as they will hopefully have some of these bugs fixed. Anyways, finally, Brian does also support commands. You'll notice that we used some earlier in the chat over here. The reason it's being wiped is because I got kicked because of the x-ray. But okay, we can prefix all these commands with a dot. And then for example, type dot help in the chat to get a list of all the commands that Brian offers together with a description of exactly what they're going to do for you. If you don't know how to use one of these commands, just type it in chat and it'll print the exact usage for you. So of course, incredibly simple. Definitely make sure to play around, read this up, uh, check out everything that Brian has to offer because it's definitely a whole lot. Anyways, for right now though, thank you all ever so much for watching and I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.